You need to get Gatsby and his corgi taco. Gatsby, you want to be a corgi taco? Uh, here it goes. It's a corgi taco! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Thank you, Corgi Taco. He's a Corgi Taco. <laughs> You're so funny. Good morning, guys. So today I thought that I would share with you what I typically eat on a regular day. So let's get started with breakfast. I tend to always have bagels and eggs. Two bagels and I have three eggs. Here we go. To begin with, I like to set this to about medium there. If you definitely do not want your eggs to stick, the best way to do it is to use butter. It usually is olive oil. Three. Salt. When you see the white over here, like on the bottom of the egg, that's when I like to reduce the heat to like around three. Because I like the eggs to be like oozing yolk. You can kind of tell that the eggs are done when they have that, those little specks on it like that. There they are. Butter on my bagels instead of cream cheese. I don't know. It just tastes really good to me, especially with the eggs. I'm gonna butter them and then stick some jam on because I have jam. Bam! Strawberry jam. And then for the eggs over here, I like to eat it the Asian way, which is with soy sauce. So you drizzle a little bit of soy sauce on the eggs. People like to put a lot of salt on their eggs. Well, soy sauce is kind of like the same thing. Before you judge, just try it. It tastes really good. Bagels, and that's what I have for breakfast. And so now I like to sit at my dining room table over here, watch some YouTube videos while I eat some breakfast. Awesome. Okay, see you guys afterwards. So cute. Yeah, ready to go? Let's go. Gatsby wants another ball for his eye fat share. I have one last one left. Sit. Stay. Cookies? No. Uh, 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 uh. Stay. Cookies? No. Stay. Sit. Stay. Corgi? Cookies? Cookies. Cookie. Come. Good dog. Good dog. Woo! <laughs> what were you doing? You guys are quoting all my corgi references. What's your favorite corgi song? In the comments below, write it down. A corgi's gonna cord, 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 cord. Nicki Minaj is feeling myself. Gatsby on fleek. Corgi on fleek. Is it from Taylor Swift's Bad Blood? Corgis don't fix bullet holes. Ah! That Beyonce song, Pretty Hurts. Corgi hurts. Which one would be the funniest on a t-shirt? I'm not making a t-shirt. Corgis don't fix bullet holes. Corgi on fleek. Corgi's gonna corg. Or corgi hurts. Woo! So guess what? We got some big news. Gatsby and I are going to be going to the Southern California Corgi Beach Day. Woo! This is the largest corgi gathering in all the United States and maybe in the world. Over like 4,000 people. If you guys missed the NorCal CorgiCon and you live in SoCal, it's your lucky day. You can come and meet Gatsby, take a picture. It is on July 25th. They haven't really released a time, but it's usually from like 11 to 2. It is at Rosie's Dog Beach in Long Beach. If you guys want to meet Gatsby, make sure to make it down on that day. And meet me too, of course. Number two, Gatsby and I, mostly me, are going to go to VidCon! Ah! I believe tickets are already sold out right now. We're gonna be driving down and VidCon just happens to be at the same time as the Quickie Beach Day, so I was like, why don't we go to both of these? So I will be at VidCon. Gatsby might make some surprise appearances outside of VidCon because dogs aren't allowed inside of the convention center. 
But definitely come and meet me and Gatsby. I have never been to VidCon before. I've seen videos and stuff like that, so I kind of know what to expect. Yeah, it should be pretty awesome. I'm really excited. My birthday is July 22nd, and I believe VidCon starts on July 23rd. So I'm actually going to be driving down on my birthday. Hope to see you guys there. If you can make it, I'm sure Gatsby will love to meet you guys. He loves all of his fans. <laughs> After my protein shake, I like to eat some cereal, some of this. I've been eating this, which I really like, muesli, which has a lot of protein. And I like to add some Love Crunch to it because Love Crunch, of course, tastes incredible. And since I'm a little bit lactose intolerant, I drink it with some vanilla soy milk over here. So we're gonna do a small bowl of this. It has like nuts and berries and stuff like that. And some Love Crunch over here. That's some chocolatey goodness. It's a lot better than regular cereal, I noticed, because I just feel a lot more full from it, and it has a lot more stuff in it, which is better for you than eating Lucky Charms all day long. Having that for a little bit of a snack after a workout. Mmm. Are you ready to go? Yeah? So happy? Let's put it on. Let's go. Let's be... Ah. <laughs> yes, I think I saw a few weeks ago. Gatsby, <laughs> Aggie. Gatsby's like, this baby is so annoying. <laughs> He's all baby. They're all dark colored except for Gatsby. <laughs> Aggie, you gotta go. Go, go. Yeah. So lucky, huh? Got to play in the park for two hours with all your friends. I always meet up with all the other dog owners there and we just talk and talk and talk. So it's fun for me too. You're so happy, Gatsby. Gonna go and grab Gatsby's food, which is that origin food. He loves it, of course. Super, super expensive food. It smells like fish. <coughs> it's so strong. It smells so strong. But look, Gatsby's so excited for it. He doesn't like people to watch him eat. So he's waiting for me to go. For dinner tonight, I thought that I would make something that my dad keeps saying that he used to make in college that was super easy, which is like a lemon cayenne pepper chicken. I don't have any of the ingredients, but I thought that I would just start on making the rice. This Japanese brand, it's so good. This is a three cup rice cook. I like to make rice and then you can always, of course, just refrigerate the rest or even freeze it. Washing the rice. You just add water like that and then pour it out. And you just do it again and again and again until the liquid becomes not so white when you're pouring out. Okay, so that's pretty much clear there. The lines of your, for how much water you pour in. So I fill it up to line three because I have three cups of rice here. There we go. Now we just stick it inside of the rice cooker and click cook. Okay, now it's time to go and get all the food and ingredients for the meal. Hey, you, jump in this ride. It's real nice and slippery inside. Wise guys, come get this pie. R -r ride, ride it in style. Said it a minute ago, I did it a minute ago. I drop it, I pick it up slow. I want it, I'm kicking it though. Made it to Sprouts. Going around. You can just buy the turkey neck. All the vegetables. They are cayenne. I grab a lemon. I got everything I need here. I'm gonna go off to Target now. They actually had Apple Pay, so I was able to use my Apple Watch to pay for it. It was really cool. It's so much more convenient than having to take out your phone. Oh my gosh. Or your wallet. Off to Target now. Corgi. Corgi. I need to get some eggs and some butter for more breakfast food. And more bagels. And the Oreos. Since when is paper towels so expensive? My gosh. Amiibos. I have kind of a lot. <laughs> Nothing good. This always looks like Elmo is strangling the kid. <laughs> That's very dark outside. Okay, so as I said for dinner, we're gonna make some cayenne and lemon pepper chicken. You'll need the chicken breasts over here, salt, cayenne pepper, garlic, 
and lemon. And the special thing about this is that there is no cleanup at all because we're just gonna broil it on top of aluminum foil. It's already so late, like what time I'm eating dinner. Anyway, let's broil. So what we're gonna first do is season the chicken with minced garlic and salt. So the easiest way is to use one of these garlic mashers over here. But if you don't have one, you can always just smash the garlic up. So if you want to peel these pieces of garlic really fast, there's a trick. You use stainless steel bowls here. So what you do is you just stick it in the bowl like that, flip them over, and you shake. Let's see. They're all peeled. Magic. So here are the chicken breasts. They're giant, looks like a turkey breast. There we go. I guess you could easily just have them on, on this pan, but I'm just gonna do it here. I'm gonna just crush the garlic. I'm doing this with one hand, so let's see how good I am. Just push it through the other side, like the Play-Doh. Now you wanna rub the garlic into the chicken, like so. Next, cayenne pepper time. I stuck it the seasoning side down so I can season this side, and we're gonna use a lemon right now. And then we just pour the lemon juice on. It's kinda like a lemon pepper. Stick it inside the oven here. On the top shelf, because we're gonna broil it. Set a timer for seven minutes. I have this spinach salad, so I'm gonna actually make that. I love tomatoes, so awesome. I'm gonna put so many tomatoes in the salad. Okay, I just flipped them over. I'm gonna stick them back inside for four more minutes here. Some of the garlic turned green, which is really weird. It looks kind of like mold. My dad was like, I never saw that before, but he, he never put garlic in. My mom was suggesting putting garlic. I think it's a chemical reaction. Hopefully that's okay. okay so drizzle some olive oil on top. Okay, and let's get some balsamic vinegar on there. Drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. Nice. There's the salad. That looks like a really good salad. Rice looks good. <laughs> Look at that, all the garlic turned green. Well, it's not supposed to turn green. I don't know what that was about. I guess garlic turns green when there's lemon on it. And the salad. There we go. Okay, I just moved the chicken over here. And so the easy cleanup is that you can just roll this, pick this up and throw it in the trash and that's it. I could have seasoned it on here too, but I was a little bit afraid. Yeah, it's dinner time now. All right, my dad was like, I never told you to put garlic in it. That's what my mom said to do. And my mom's like, yeah, you shouldn't have put garlic in it because the garlic doesn't really match too well. So next time, don't use garlic. Just use lemon and cayenne pepper. Other than that, it tastes pretty good. <gasps> oh, it's a corgi baby. Ooh. Okay, I'm getting ready to go to bed. Gonna take out the dog right now and use the bathroom. So, thanks for watching today. I hope you guys got a little bit of an insight of what I eat. I really don't eat like anything that crazy or anything. But um, that was my food. And so, I hope you guys enjoyed that. A little bit of a look into what I eat. I know a lot of you guys were requesting that. So there it is. So anyway, I'm gonna head to bed. I'll see you guys later. Good night. Guys, oh Gatsby, come on in. Thought I would do an apartment tour since I haven't done one in two years. I know you guys know all about my apartment because you see it in the vlogs all the time, but I thought I would do an in-depth tour on all the different stuff inside.